Hello everyone, my name is Mini Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about introduction of microeconomics with MCQ, especially for UGC net economics. So we will see introduction about all these important topic, theory of consumer behavior, theory of production, cost, decision making under uncertainty, uh, game theory, market structure, competitive and non-competitive market, factor pricing, general equilibrium analysis, Pareto optimality, Calder Hicks compensation criterion, welfare economics we will see fundamental theorem social welfare function and we will also see consequences of asymmetric information like adverse selection and moral hazard so let's uh, start it theory of consumer behavior theory of consumer behavior explain consumer decision to maximize their satisfaction within their limited income and we will also study about in under this topic cardinal utility cardinal utility is given by alfred marshall and major utility in terms of cardinal number like 1 2 3 4 etc and also include concept of total utility and marginal utility ordinal utility theory or you can say that indifference curve analysis given by j r hicks and r g d allen and uses concept of indifference curve. Indifference curve shows combination of two goods which give us the same level of satisfaction without any numerical measurement like cardinal approach. We also study about low diminishing marginal utility. That means as we are buying more commodities, satisfaction from each commodity is decreasing. Low of equi marginal utility is extension of low of diminishing marginal utility which shows consumer spend their income on different commodities in such a way so that he can receive maximum satisfaction. We also study about demand, low of demand which shows inverse relationship between price and demand. Exceptional of low of demand like Giffen good, Weblen effect, elasticity of demand which shows how much demand increase due to increase in income, price and price of related good. Types of elasticity of demand like income, price and cross elasticity of demand. Theory of production and uh, cost. In theory of production we will study about low variable uh, proportion. Low variable proportion is a short time period low which shows we change only one input like labor and keep other input uh, constant. Then initially output increase at increasing rate, then increase at diminishing rate, eventually start uh, declining. Return to scale. Return to scale is long time period low and shows uh, amount of output when we can change all input. Because during long time period no input is fixed, we can change all input. Isoquant. Isoquant is a curve which shows a combination of two input like labor and capital which give us same amount of output. And we can achieve producer equilibrium where isoquant is tangent to isocost line. Cope Douglas production function is very important production function based on uh, empirical study of American manufacturing industry and shows a technical relationship between amount of input and output and this is linear homogeneous production function. Theory of cost divided into two parts, traditional cost theory and modern cost theory. Traditional cost theory explain U-shape cost curve and traditional cost theory during short time period is based on low variable proportion. And during long time period based on return to scale or you can say that during long time period traditional cost theory is based on diseconomies and economies of scale. But modern theory is more practical and based on real world observation that's why include L shape and social shape cost curve. Decision making under uncertainty and attitude towards risk. Decision making under uncertainty means when you have to make decision but you are not sure about outcome or you can say that you have to make decision but you are not guarantee about outcome. For example, investor has to choose between so many investment projects. However, he is not sure about outcome of each project. Similar, household have to choose whether they buy house insurance or not. Similar, you have to choose whether buy a lottery ticket or not. In all these cases, person is not sure about outcome. 
and what is your attitude towards a risk if you avoid a risk that means you are risk averse if you are willing to take more risk that means you are risk seeking and person who is risk neutral are indifferent from risk their decision are based on expected value of outcome alone game theory game theory analyze a situation where outcome for participant depend on their own decision as well as decision of other participant game theory analyze a situation where outcome for participant depend on their own decision as well as decision of other participant and in game theory we study about dominant strategy and nash equilibrium dominant strategy is a situation where player select is best to possible option no matter what does their rival player do and nash equilibrium is stable state where no player can improve their outcome by unilaterally or you can say that by one sided changing their strategy now we will see whole market structure perfect competition perfect competition is a situation where so many buyers and sellers are consist and selling and buying homogeneous product for example in case of agriculture market so many farmers are selling exactly same kind of crop and so many buyers are buying it during short time period perfect competition can receive super normal normal profit and minimum loss but during long time period firm can enter and exit from market very easily that's why during long time period under perfect competition they will receive just normal profit monopoly monopoly is a situation where single seller selling unique product monopoly is a situation where single seller selling unique product for example microsoft has a monopoly in their personal computer operating system during short time period monopoly can receive super normal profit normal profit even sometime loss but during long time period monopoly will always receive super normal profit obviously it has monopoly in market in even some cases very rarely it can receive normal profit during long time period monopolistic competition where seller are selling similar but differentiated uh, product that means their product is same but quality and feature are different for example l'oreal tresemme clinic plus are selling shampoo shampoo is the same but quality and feature of one company shampoo are different from other company it will be called monopolistic competition same to uh, perfect competition monopolistic competition short time period can receive super normal normal and minimum loss but during long time period will always receive normal profit oligopoly oligopoly is a market situation with few seller but large market share oligopoly means few seller consist but with large market share their product can be same or different from each other for example steel manufacturing company automobile industry in case of oligopoly models are very important and oligopoly model divided into two part collusive and non collusive collusive include cartels prize leadership non collusive include cornot fiji king the edgeworth bertrand and stackel berg now we'll see factor pricing what do you mean by factors in economics we have mainly four factor of production land labor capital and entrepreneurship land receive rent labor receive wages capital receive interest rate and entrepreneurship receive profit that means under factor pricing we will see theories of rent wages profit and interest rate and theory of rent include ricardo theory of rent modern theory of rent theory of wages include marginal productivity theory of wages subsistence theory of wages and modern theory of wages and theory of interest rate include classical theory of interest rate keynesian liquidity preference theory of interest rate and loanable fund theory of interest rate and theory of profit include innovation uncertainty bearing theory dynamic theory of profit risk taking theory of profit and modern theory of uh, profit general equilibrium analysis general equilibrium analysis given by leon walras that's why general equilibrium analysis also known as walrasian equilibrium analysis economy can achieve general equilibrium point when all firms all industries and all factor services are simultaneously is in equilibrium 
इकोनॉमी कैन अचीव जनरल इक्विलिब्रियम पॉइंट व्हेन ऑल फार्म्स ऑल इंडस्ट्रीज एंड ऑल फैक्टर सर्विसेज आर साइमल्टेनियसली इज इन इक्विलिब्रियम फॉर एग्जांपल जनरल इक्विलिब्रियम स्टडीज साइमल्टेनियसली इक्विलिब्रियम ऑफ सैमसंग नोकिया एप्पल एलजी एंड केम टू कंक्लूजन एग्रीगेट डिमांड एंड एग्रीगेट सप्लाई ऑफ मोबाइल मार्केट इज इक्वल टू ईच अदर परिटो ऑप्टिमैलिटी परिटो ऑप्टिमैलिटी इज अ स्टेट वेयर इट इज इम्पॉसिबल टू मेक वन पर्सन बेटर ऑफ विदाउट मेकिंग समवन एल्स वर्स ऑफ दैट मीन्स यू कैन नॉट गिव बेनिफिट टू वन पर्सन विदाउट गिविंग लॉस टू समवन एल्स देर आर मेनली थ्री कंडीशन ऑफ फेरिटो ऑप्टिमैलिटी एफिशेंसी इन एक्सचेंज प्रोडक्शन एंड प्रोडक्ट मिक्स कैलडर इज कॉम्पनसेशन क्राइटेरियन सपोज एनी चेंज गिव बेनिफिट टू वन पर्सन बट ड्यू टू दिस चेंज सम अदर पर्सन बियर लोज अकॉर्डिंग टू कैलडर इज कॉम्पनसेशन क्राइटेरियन दोज हु रिसीव बेनिफिट फ्रॉम चेंज इफ दे कॉम्पनसेट सम अमाउंट ऑफ मनी टू लूजर एंड स्टिल बी बेटर ऑफ इन सच अ केस यू कैन से दिस चेंज विल इम्प्रूव ओवरऑल वेलफेयर ऑफ सोसाइटी अदरवाइज नोट फंडामेंटल थियरम सो वेलफेयर एंड सोशल वेलफेयर फंक्शन फर्स्ट फंडामेंटल थियरम एनी कंपेटिटिव इक्वली विरम इज फरीटो एफिशियंट दैट मीन्स फर्स्ट फंडामेंटल थियरम ओनली फोकस ऑन फरीटो एफिशियंसी बट डोंट प्रोवाइड एनी फ्रेमवर्क फॉर सोशल जस्टिक बट सेकेंड फंडामेंटल थियरम अलोंग विद पेरिटो एफिशियंसी ऑल्सो प्रोवाइड फ्रेमवर्क फॉर सोशल जस्टिक बाय फोकसिंग ऑन री डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ वेल्थ बर्गसन एंड सैमुलसन सोशल वेलफेयर फंक्शन अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस फंक्शन सोशल वेलफेयर इज फंक्शन ऑफ यूटिलिटी लेवल ऑफ ऑल इंडिविजुअल इन द सोसाइटी दैट मीन्स बाय एडिंग यूटिलिटी ऑफ ऑल इंडिविजुअल इन सोसाइटी वी कैन मेक सोशल वेलफेयर फंक्शन अकॉर्डिंग टू बर्गसन एंड सैमुलसन इस मेट्रिक इन्फॉर्मेशन इस मेट्रिक इन्फॉर्मेशन इज द सिचुएशन वेयर वन पार्ट इन ट्रांजेक्शन हैज मोर और बेटर इन्फॉर्मेशन एज कम्पेयर टू अदर पार्टी इस मेट्रिक इन्फॉर्मेशन मीन्स वेयर वन पार्टी इन ट्रांजेक्शन हैज मोर और बेटर इन्फॉर्मेशन एज कम्पेयर टू अदर पार्टी इस मेट्रिक इन्फॉर्मेशन लीड टू टू कॉन्सिक्वेंसिस एडवर्स सेलेक्शन एंड मोरल हैजड एडवर्स सेलेक्शन मीन्स रोंग सेलेक्शन ड्यू टू लैक ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन मोरल हैजड मीन्स वेयर वन पार्टी चेंज इज बिहेवियर आफ्टर कॉन्ट्रैक्ट बिकॉज इन नोज अदर पार्टी विल बेयर कॉस्ट ऑफ एनी लॉस but other party don't have any information about this change behavior this is morally wrong so it will be called moral hazard now we will see some questions what does law of diminishing marginal utility state you can see all option our right option is c marginal utility decrease as consumption increase as we know according to law of diminishing marginal utility marginal utility decrease as our consumption increase Which of following is assumption of low variable proportion? Our right answer is C. There is at least one fixed factor of production because we can only apply this law if we assume one factor is fixed and other are variable. Ordinal approach is based on fact. Right option is B. Utility could not measure in terms of cardinal number. According to ordinal approach, we cannot measure utility in terms of cardinal number like one, two, three, four. According to ordinal approach, in order to measure utility, we can use indifference curve. So our B is right answer. Cardinal approach was propounded by our right option is B. Alfred Marshall. Why are firms in perfect competitive market consider price taker? Price taker means so firms have to accept the price whatever is decided by industry. They cannot decide price by their own choice. Our right option is C. They sell homogeneous product and there are so many substitute available. In case of perfect competition market, if all firms are selling homogeneous product, same kind of product, then how one firm can charge high price and sell their product? Nobody will buy their product, so they have to accept price whatever is decided by industry. So in under perfect competition, firms are price taker, not maker. So the right option is C. What is dominant strategy in game theory? As we already discussed, in case of a dominant strategy, player select is best possible option, regardless of what does his rival player do. So a right option is A. Give a player highest payoff regardless of rival player strategy. 
which of following best define a Pareto optimal allocation? As we know, according to Pareto optimality, we cannot give benefit to one person without giving loss to someone else. So, a right option is C, an allocation where it is impossible to make a one individual better off without making at least one individual worse off. So, C is our right option. Today, I just gave an introduction of microeconomics, that's why I explain very simple question. In coming video, I will also explain some complex MCQ. So, this is all about today's video. I think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video. Bye, take care.